But there it is. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. It's so dumb. This is an original Game Boy. Everyone's seen this before and they know what it is. This is an original Game Boy camera. A lot of people haven't seen this before. It inserts like a game, it's got its own software, but it's a 0.1 megapixel camera. It does work with the original Game Boy, however this one is in need of some fixing. This will be getting a full resto mod on the channel later, so make sure you subscribe for that one. We're aiming for a thousand subscribers. We're going to substitute it for a Game Boy Color for now because the screen works. Apart from the operating system for this camera being extremely weird, the camera is limited by a few things. The lens? and the fact that you can't actually get the photos off the Game Boy. In this video, we're going to fix both of those. There's a picture of my Honda City, which you can see. The problem is, you can store 30 photos on the cartridge, but there's only one way to sort of get them off the cartridge, and that is with this, a Game Boy printer. So the Game Boy printer connects to the Game Boy with a, like the multiplayer link cable, and then when the printer's connected, we have the option of printing out our photo, There's our picture. That is the only Nintendo supplied way to be able to remove the photos from the camera. It's about the size of a postage stamp. This is great, except I'd like to, be able to put the photos on the computer. What I'll do is we'll disconnect the camera from the printer. Can actually just unplug it. What it allows us to do though is take this, which is an Arduino. This is basically a really small, cheap, programmable computer. They're only a couple of dollars. What we're going to do is solder this to the Arduino, make the Game Boy think that this is the printer, and then rather than printing to paper, we're going to print to here, and then we should be able to transfer the pictures from here onto the computer. So we're soldered to the Arduino now. I just followed the directions on a GitHub page that I found, and that also has the code for the Arduino. So I'll put the link in the description so you can follow along with yourself. It's really easy to do. So now that we've got our modified link cable, we can plug the link cable into the Game Boy and we can plug the Arduino into the computer. So this is the Arduino code you have to upload. I'm obviously not smart enough to work this out for myself but if you read through the little tutorial that I posted the link to, this person's all over it so we're borrowing their code. Basically once we upload this to the Arduino, we can go up and open the serial monitor. So this is what the Arduino is currently reading and if we go to the Game Boy, we can open our photo that we want. We want the city. And then if we press it to print, the Game Boy now thinks it's printing. You can see on our screen, we're actually intercepting the information coming from the Game Boy and we're saving it in this serial monitor here. So we'll let it finish printing, and now it's done. All you're going to need to do is select the numbers, which is just pretty much a big string of numbers telling it where to put each pixel. And then we can go to the website that goes with this program, which is also all in the description. We simply paste our stuff in there, pick the colour we want, and there's the picture. So that's the regular grayscale, we have like the original Game Boy colours, this is what it looks like on the DMG Game Boy. So that is the solution to our first problem. We can now get the pictures from the Game Boy onto the computer rather than just having them printed out as little postage stamps. There's more streamlined ways to do it, but this will be good for now. This is the cheapest way possible, it's a couple of bucks for a cable and a couple of dollars for the Arduino. The next thing we're limited by is the lens. Now the lens that Nintendo has picked for the Game Boy camera is very wide angle, which is great for taking, like it spins around, it's great for taking selfies, and it's great for like pictures of things around the house. But I'm going to take photos at like the track and stuff with this, and you really need a better lens with more zoom. So, screwdriver time. Nintendo hold all their Game Boys and stuff together with special security bits, so if you're going to do this, order a set of screwdrivers with the right ends ahead of time. So we'll unplug the camera. The last thing you want to do with these sorts of little plugs is pull the wires. So if you can get something flat and lift just the plastic bit of the plug, slowly work it out, you shouldn't break anything. So there's the actual camera with the lens. We can remove the lens, and now we're down to the actual sensor that does the part of like the actual bit that detects the light, the sensor inside. So now that we have our sensor extracted, we need a way to attach the DSLR lens to this. And once again, just like our Arduino part, ask and you shall receive, we find this. So I'll link the file in the description. This is a 3D printed adapter that allows us to attach a DSLR lens to the Game Boy sensor. And this is, you just download it straight off Thingiverse and print it out. So we'll assemble it. This is not printed perfectly, I sort of did it on a higher layer height to see if it works. If it's any good, we'll print it out on a lower height, slower, and we'll clean it up a bit nicer. But let's assemble it and see what the photos look like. 
Now this piece is pretty much ready to use straight out of the printer, except I didn't have any black plastic. So I printed it in white. The problem with white, the light shines straight through it. So that's gonna overexpose all our pictures. So I'm gonna go give this a coat of black paint and then we should be good to go. We're back, we're black. I even painted the red dot where the camera lens goes on. This is the uh, lens we do experiments with. It's a Tamron one I bought in Japan for 330 yen, which is like four or five dollars, so. I don't think you really need to see me assemble this. It literally just screws back together exactly the same as the original lens, except instead of using this front half ball, we just use this half. So I'll screw this back together and we get to test it. So I've just been putting it back together. I modified this base a little bit to make it stronger and I actually made it slightly too big for the ball to fit over. So I'll run it without the ball for a bit. We're back together. I didn't like how it looked without this, so it's on there, it just doesn't quite sit properly. Well, I'll put the lens on it, and then we're ready to attach it to the Game Boy and see if I've just killed my camera or if it still works. I'm hoping it works. Okay. Please work. Please don't be dead, Game Boy game. Game Boy camera. Oh, yes. Right, so it boots. Shoot. Oh, cool. It's actually picking this thing up. Alright, let's see if we can actually get a photo with this. Okay, so I'm sitting here looking across the room. I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is it fits and it looks cool. The bad news is it's constantly out of focus. So I think the problem is the sensor is too far away from the lens. So this distance from the very face of the sensor in there to the back of the lens has to be very precise. And I think it's slightly too long. So I'm gonna print off another one of these and then we'll test it again. Okay, we're back. Version two, the green dome fits. The sensor is now 1.5 millimeters closer to the back of the lens and the lens actually locks on properly without like getting jammed. So testing time. As much as I would just video the screen, turning this on to test it, you can't see anything on these Game Boy screens. I'm super keen to get my original one fixed so you can see on a backlit screen. It works, it works now. I can actually focus. There's a weird point in the middle of the zoom travel where it doesn't focus. So I'm guessing that's probably because my distance is still slightly off. I was reading some like camera forums and they were saying like 0.2 of a millimeter makes a difference. So maybe also it's only 0.1 of a megapixel. So maybe 0.2 of a millimeter doesn't matter. But so the combination of me having to hold this at the right angle for the camera to see it and pointing it the right direction. I don't know if you can see anything, but that set of Hot Wheels cars on the wall over there. There it is on the screen. I'll take some photos and put them up. It's super unnecessary, but now that it's working, I'm gonna put my longest lens on it. It's very nice that this actually like, locks on now. Looks like it's made for it. This is how Game Boys are supposed to look. Uh, this is gonna be very wobbly, so I'm gonna use the chair as a tripod. I'm so keen to get the bright screen in the other Game Boy to test this with. <laughs> this is more zoom than a Game Boy is supposed to have. I'll put the picture up, but the fact that I can tell what model Hot Wheels car I'm looking at on this tiny little screen <laughs> says that this is more zoom than a Game Boy is ever supposed to have. So I think with that, we can probably leave this video there. I've got the new screen mod for my original Game Boy coming. I'm aiming to get to 10,000 subscribers. If you can help me out, that'd be great. And other than that, let me know what you thought in the comments and I'll see everybody on the next video. Super keen for a sunny day tomorrow. I'm gonna take this out and take some unnecessary zoom Game Boy photos. We've got the Tofu Shop 86 and the Lancia Stratos. The camera's all the way down here with the Game Boy on it. It's sitting on the tripod because it's very wobbly. You can't see this screen because it's a crappy Game Boy color screen, but there it is. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. It's so dumb.